With only 10 days left until the new fiscal year, Arizona lawmakers continue hearings to work on the specifics of a $16 billion budget. Rachel Fortunato is in the newsroom with more on a proposed budget that could pass with bipartisan support. The latest budget plan was released Monday and calls for a 15 percent spending increase. With only a one vote margin in both the House and Senate, Republicans need every number of their party to vote yes on this budget or they need to get support from Democrats. Committee hearings began this morning on a budget plan that taps into the state's $4 billion surplus. With over $540 million going for border-related projects, more than $1 billion for water issues, $600 million for various road construction projects across the state, and about $900 million for education-related expenses. Legislative leaders hope there's enough in the budget for everyone that some Democrats will cross over and vote yes. But in a press conference today, education leaders say they want to see more for education. We laid out the educator's budget, which was $1.2 billion, so that's kind of what we consider the enough as a baseline. These are not new and curious and out-of-the-pocket ideas. This is what working families, parents, educators, teachers want. The legislature must pass a budget in order to avoid a shutdown on July 1st. In the newsroom, Rachel Fortunato, Cronkite News.